some of the things he says we may baffle your brain a little and I'll give you an example I've always told you I'm not a prophet I'm just a pastor but I hear from God once in a while years ago there were three people contesting to be president of Nigeria Abiola uh, Amino Kano and uh, one third fellow what is the name now so far something like that so far I think so at that time I was president of Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria and so the other Pentecostal people asked me sir what do we do who do we vote for and three of them all three Muslims who is going to win sir I said none uh -uh. how can that be <laughs> if you toss a coin when it lands it's either head or tail I said none He said, why? Because God told me. He spoke in a parable. He said, the winner will be the loser. The loser will be the winner. And the luckiest of them is Amino Kano. Uh -uh. How do we... Amino Kano died before the election. Abiola won, but he never got to the throne. And the fellow who lost, at least he didn't have the embarrassment of winning and not reigning. The winner is the loser, the loser is the winner, the luckiest of them is the one who died. When it played out, <laughs> My colleagues came to me and said, well, well, it seems as if really hard. For example, if somebody asked me today, like many people are already doing, that who is going to be our next president, the answer is, I don't know. How can you say you don't know? That, I mean, your daddy's son, he hasn't told me yet. You don't do guesswork when it comes to prophecy. Okay? So it doesn't matter how you are feeling right now.